Hello, this is François Lopesier with a short demo on how to use the Vector Template class from the standard C++ library. The vector is a one-dimensional collection of elements, almost like a list. Ok, I've started a blank C++ project in Visual Studio 2012. To use the Vector Template class, I need to include Vector. Note that there is no .h after Vector. This is because it is a C++ header as opposed to a classic C style header file. I'm also including IOStream so I can use the standard C outstream. To declare a vector, I state the kind of elements I want to put inside the vector between angle brackets directly after the word vector. In this case I'm using int. I'm calling my vector instance intvec. I have to prepend vector with std colon colon to indicate that it is from the std namespace. I could have eliminated that with a using clause, but that is slightly outside the scope of this lesson. First of all, I initialize the vector to zero elements by calling the clear method on my vector instance. Now I use the pushback member to add integer elements to my vector collection instance. To iterate through my vector, I could use a plain counter and access the elements in an array-like fashion, but the more elegant collection idiom is to use an iterator, which is what I'm going to show you now. Once again I state std colon colon to identify the namespace, followed by vector, and the type int in angle brackets directly after vector, followed again by colon colon, and then the word iterator. I'm choosing the name int vec iter for my iterator. I recommend using short names for your iterator instance names, for the sake of clarity, because you're going to use quite a few of them. Now I use a for loop with my iterator as my loop variable. I initialize the iterator to int vec dot begin. Begin is a member function of vector, returning an appropriate value so the iterator can point to the first element of the vector. By the way, make sure you put the two brackets after begin. It is a member function not a data member. My for loop conditional statement checks whether the iterator is not equal to int vec dot end. End is a member function of vector returning one element past your last element. Once again, make sure of your brackets after the word end. I increment my vector iterator instance just like I would any other loop variable. I get my current integer element by dereferencing the iterator like I would dereference any pointer in C or C++. Alright, I hope this short demo on the C++ vector was very informative. Thanks for watching.